Okay, sir. So uh, let's start your thermodynamics lab for ISC Bangalore. As you mentioned, you got uh, some call from ISC Bangalore. Yes, sir. I got call from management, uh, mechanical and smart manufacturing. Mechanical management and smart manufacturing. So, in which domain you are having uh, much interest? Mechanical, smart, or uh, management? Uh, sir, mechanical. Uh, I am having more interest in mechanical domain, but uh, I also have work experience, so I want to try for management also. Okay, let's start your thermodynamics lab, Shriyash. Yes, sir. Shriyash, my first question is to you: What is energy? Uh, sir, energy. Uh, sir, energy basically is a uh, uh, can be divided into uh, two parts. Uh, one is stored energy, and other one is uh, energy in transition. So, ener stored energy can be classified as kinetic energy, potential energy, or internal energy of the body. And energy in transition is heat energy or work energy. You heard about unavailable energy, yes. Uh, yes, sir. So what is that unavailable energy? Okay, uh, sir. Uh, so in unavailable energy, if, uh, if the body has reached the uh, temperature of the surrounding, then uh, whatever energy is left below the temperature of the surrounding, that energy is called as unavailable energy. It is denoted by a T naught, that is the surrounding temperature, into a change in entropy delta S. What is the relationship between exergy destruction means irreversibility, unavailable energy? Okay. Uh, and entropy, so, entropy, exergy, destruction, and unavailable energy. What is the relationship? Exergy, exergy is the available energy. So exer, uh, exergy is the uh, uh, heat added at a temperature say T one. So exergy will be equals to T one into delta S. Uh, while uh, unavailable energy uh, is will be equal to T naught into delta S. Uh, and delta S is the entropy. So yes, suppose if I will give you 5 kg of ice at uh, yes. some minus 10 degrees Celsius. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, suppose you are converting it into uh, steam. Okay. Uh, at temperature 110 degrees Celsius. Right, sir. So, what do you feel like? Uh, how you will find out the entropy change? Uh, okay, how you so, to get the entropy change? Okay, sir. Sir, so there are stages to it. Uh, if I can share my screen, uh, I will explain. Uh, sir, you have disabled screen sharing. Okay, uh, sir. So here, uh, from a minus ten degree Celsius to zero degree Celsius, the entropy will be equals to. Uh, uh, entropy will be equals to uh, Cp, um, uh, Cp uh, or C ln uh, uh, minus 10 degree Celsius in Kelvin, minus 10 plus 273 degree uh, Celsius uh, divided by uh, 0 degree Celsius. Sorry, sir. Um, one second. Two, 273 divided by, means T2 by T1, that is 273 Kelvin uh, divided by uh, 263 Kelvin plus uh, the uh, the latent heat of uh, uh, fusion uh, divided by latent heat of fusion uh, divided by the temperature uh, of uh, of ice that is uh, 273 kelvin plus it will be again sensible uh, sensible heating so that will be c uh, c uh, of water uh, liquid water ln uh, 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 one second uh, uh, 373 divided by 273 uh, plus mm -hmm. again, uh, we will have uh, latent heat of vaporization divided by uh, 373 degrees, uh, sorry, Kelvin, and plus uh, uh, 10 um, uh, uh, C, uh, CP and of steam. How you find uh, out entropy change uh, after uh, like saturated steam to the superheated steam? Ha, yes, sir. So at saturated steam is at 100 degrees Celsius, that is uh, 373 Kelvin, and superheated is at 383 Kelvin. So the entropy change will be equal to M uh, Cp uh, ln, uh, as we are assuming uh, sorry pressure to be constant, then in that case, M Cp, Cp of steam, ln uh, uh, 383 divided by 373. So, can we consider steam as an ideal gas? Because this particular formula which you are using says this is for ideal gas. Is it right to consider steam as an ideal gas? Um, 
sir I, the assumptions of ideal gases uh, gas are that the pressure should be very low and temperature should be very high but uh, yes sir you are right it it cannot be uh, taken as ideal gas it is a pure substance so how you will find out in that case obviously it is not a ideal gas pressure generally if it is lower than 10 kilo pascal if you are having steam at a pressure lower than 10 kilo pascal then uh, you can consider it as an ideal gas uh, but here the error will be there okay and it will be high and uh, yes so how you will find out entropy change in that case um okay sir uh, one second so uh, entropy change uh, is also uh, equals to integration dq by uh, t hmm. so here uh, the change in yes sir so i will integrate integration dq here is uh, mcp uh, dt divided by t so then again uh, we will get the same equation uh, from 373 to 383 again so we will get the same equation uh, which i mentioned that is not right actually that is not right Okay, fine. Yes, uh, you heard about compressibility factor. So now, after compressibility factor. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Right. So that is used mm -hmm. for uh, to convert real gas into ideal gas. So how you are going to find out that compressibility factor for this particular steam which we are having? How will you calculate that compressibility factor? Um. Okay, sir. One second. So compressibility factor is a ratio of uh, a ratio of uh, a real volume, uh, specific volume of a, of the real gas divided by the specific volume of the same uh, in ideal condition. So by getting this ratio, we can find the compressibility factor. So, how for a real gas, it is greater than one, equal to one, or equal equal to one or less than one. What is compressibility uh, factor for a real gas? No, sir, I don't have idea. Sir. Mm -hmm. Fine. So, uh, you heard about Joule Thomson coefficient, yes. So, now, the Joule Thomson coefficient. Uh, yes, sir. What is the significance of Joule Thomson coefficient? Sir, uh, Joule Thomson coefficient is a is a uh, is a slope uh, of uh, uh, of uh, TP diagram. Uh, it is it is a slope of daba T by daba P. Uh, we uh, mm -hmm. at constant enthalpy. Mm -hmm. So and so yes, sir. And sir, uh, so Joule Thomson coefficient is uh, it can be positive or negative. If Joule Thomson coefficient is positive, then we get uh, a cooling. And if if Joule Thomson coefficient is negative, then in that case we get heating. And uh, and in refrigeration we use uh, a positive Joule Thomson coefficient. So, I'll, I'll look, uh, sorry, Shresh, can you suggest me some of the gases uh, which are having a negative Joule Thomson coefficient? Uh, yes, sir. So, hydrogen gas is having a negative uh, Joule Thomson coefficient. Hydrogen and uh, helium. Uh, right, sir. So sir suppose, I, suppose, yes. suppose if you want to carry out liquefaction of these gases, Shresh, and you know, liquefaction generally we carry out by uh, a repeated cycle of this compression and floating only. Okay, yes, sir. So, how then we can carry out liquefaction of these gases? Like, suppose if you want to liquefy a particular gas, hydrogen, helium, which is having negative Joule Thomson coefficient, so how do we do it? No idea, sir. Sir, what I think is uh, uh, we can use a, a, a refrigerant which has a positive Joule Thomson coefficient and then uh, give and transfer the heat from that. A cold cold refrigerant to uh, hydrogen and helium gas, and that way by heat transfer we can uh, reduce the temperature and liquefy the gases. So yes, what is your understanding uh, related to second law of thermodynamics? Uh, sir, second law of thermodynamics basically uh, can be defined uh, for a process also and for a cycle also. So for process the uh, it is equals to uh, dq by t uh, is less than or equal to uh, uh, ds that is entropy uh, difference of entropy generation uh, sorry entropy 
uh, this is uh, true for reversible and irreversible cycle uh, for reversible cycle sorry for irreversible cycle it is dq by t plus ds gen uh, is equals to ds and uh, for uh, if we speak for cycle then uh, then second law becomes uh, a cyclic integration of dq uh, by t is less than or equal to zero if it is reversible process then it is equal to zero what do you understand by the direction of a process generally we say that second law is a directional process yes sir. what do you understand uh, so, by direction uh, sir uh, uh, with the help of second law we can uh, we we can find out the quality of the uh, energy and uh, we can also know if if the uh, cycle is possible or not so if uh, if dq by t is greater than zero uh, a cyclic integration of dq by t is greater than zero then in that case the cycle is impossible cycle that we can come to know mm. My last question is to you, Shresh. What is the difference between a heater and heat pump? A heat? I didn't get it. Heater you. and heat pump. What is the difference? Heater and heat pump. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, so in heater, uh, heater uses electric work to produce heat energy, and uh, that heat energy can be utilized for uh, n uh, for n number of applications, such as uh, heating water or etc. Uh, in case of heat pump, uh, heat pump takes in heat, uh, means uh, it takes in first of all work, then converts uh, and also takes in heat from a lower temperature uh, body and uh, gives that uh, heat, rejects that heat to a higher temperature body. So, uh, so these two are different in that way. Ajay, if you will take a conventional uh, hot air blower, in winter we use some kind of hot air blower, yes or no? Fresh? Yes, yes sir. So if you will compare a conventional hot air blower with a heat pump, right, sir. What do you feel? Which one is more efficient, and why? Okay, sir. Uh, if heat pump operating on a reversible cycle is always more, it will have more COP compared to a uh, 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 actual blower, uh, uh, which which is consuming electric uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Shresh, let me give you the feedback now. Generally, we keep uh, these snap mocks of uh, 8 to 10 minutes only, 3 4 minutes for the discussion. Feedback. Okay. Abhi thoda sa, Shresh, aapko comfortable or uh, feel karna hai. You are not looking much comfortable today. Okay, so work on that. This is your this was your first snap only, so take it in a positive yes. manner uh, because these are actually the practice session. Okay, if you will go for more and more snaps, surely you will get that kind of con uh, you know confidence and. Uh, uh, easily, comfortably, you will be able to explain. Okay. So that is the first point which I noted down because you are nervous. You are looking slightly nervous. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So work on that. Otherwise, I started with a very simple question. Uh, energy, kya hota hai? what is energy, unavailable energy, and what is exergy? So, energy you explained. Unavailable energy, aapko tha, sir, it is that energy which is not available to us, which we cannot convert into work. It is a minimum energy which we need to reject to the surrounding. Yes. So energy which is which is not available to us, which we cannot convert into work, that is known as unavailable energy. Okay, sir. So increase in unavailable energy, Ushigam kya bolte hai? That is irreversibility. Yes. Whatever increase in unavailable energy is taking place, because unavailable energy kushna kush to hoga hi hoga, because complete conversion of heat into work is not possible. So if you are having some heat, surely it must have some kind of available part, some unavailable part. Kitna maximum work convert kar sakte ho, that is available part. Kitna aapko minimum rejection karna padega, that is unavailable work. Okay. Exergy, when you have said exergy also, you can explain with that only. So entropy, I asked you, entropy kya hota hai? It is a measure of unavailability. It is a measure of unavailable energy. Generally, we have entropy ko kaise define karte hai? It is a measure of the disorder or randomness of the gas molecule. More is the entropy, more is the unavailable energy. More is the unavailable energy means, more is the loss in available energy. More is the irreversibility. Okay. And we can relate them very easily, directly. Both are directly proportional. More, more is the entropy generation, more is the irreversibility in the system. And there are so many reasons about the irreversibility, entropy generation in the process. Okay. I, I hope you said about internal irreversibility and external irreversibility. Yes, things. sir. They can ask you, what are the reasons behind irreversibility? 
then i asked you i have given you a case like water ko hum kaise karenge just to know like how you are going to approach that particular problem ki energy entropy kaise nikalenge to theek tha but steam ke case mein galat ho jayega so obviously you need to refer the steam table aapko bola tha sir steam table use karenge ha yes sir so steam table we are having and we will use the steam table if you know the pressure atmospheric pressure pe sir we will find out the sg and sf and from that we will take the difference okay sg minus sf that will give us the चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ड्यूरिंग फेस चेंज एंड आफ्टर दैट ऑल्सो अगर आपको निकालना है तो फ्रॉम दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज सुपर रिटेड स्टीम टेबल अभी एक सौ दस टेम्परेचर क्या था दैट इज सुपर रिटेड टेम्परेचर सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर कितना है वन एटमोस्फेर पे हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस सो सुपर रिटेड स्टीम टेबल को अगर आप यूज करोगे श्रेयस इजिली यू गेट द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ठीक है तो आपको मैंशन करना था सर सुपर रिटेड स्टीम टेबल को यूज Compressibility factor is a gas deviation factor which tells us about the deviation of a gas from the ideal gas behavior. So compressibility factor may be greater than one, less than one. For ideal gas, this is equal to one. For but for a real gas, ये एक से ज़्यादा भी हो सकता है इट में भी less than one. तो यहाँ पे बच्चे confused हो जाते हैं तो ये एक से ज़्यादा भी हो सकता है एक से कम भी हो सकता है. And it is a ratio of what V actual by ideal. Yes sir. ठीक है तो वी एक्चुअल आप मेजर कर सकते हो आइडियल आल्सो यू कैन मेजर यूजिंग आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन राइट सर यस जूल कोफिशिएंट यू डिफाइंड इट इज अ स्लोप ऑफ द आइस एंड थैल्पिक कर्व ऑन टीपी डायग्राम इट मे बी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव जीरो अगेन इट इज पॉजिटिव फॉर सम गैसेस नेगेटिव फॉर सम गैसेस हाइड्रोजन हीलियम तो उनके लिए हमें अपने को क्या करना पड़ता है फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डिक्रीज देयर टेंपरेचर यू नो दीस गैसेस आर हैविंग वेरी लो इनवर्जन टेंपरेचर उनका जो इनवर्जन टेंपरेचर है बहुत कम होता है Lower than even okay. sometimes sometimes atmospheric conditions. So first we need to cool those gases. If you want to liquefy those gases, first आपने को क्या करना पड़ेगा? Cool करना पड़ेगा. Below their okay. inversion temperature. Okay. Okay. Because their inversion temperature is very low. Like if a gas having very high inversion temperature, so then that gas inlet condition to the throttling will lie in what? Will lie in the left of the inversion curve. अगर right. किसी gas का inversion temperature बहुत high है. तो जो थ्रोटलिंग डिवाइस पे इनलेट कंडीशन है वो कहां पे लाई करेंगी लेफ्ट ऑफ द इनवर्जन कर एंड इफ योर इनलेट कंडीशन आर लेफ्ट ऑफ द इनवर्जन कर एंड देन इफ यू विल डिक्रीज द प्रेशर देन टेंपरेचर इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज बट इफ द इनलेट कंडीशन लाइज राइट ऑफ द इनवर्जन कर तो फिर क्या हो जाएगा टेंपरेचर डिक्रीज करोगे तो आपका प्रेशर डिक्रीज करोगे तो टेंपरेचर बढ़ सकता है अडविनिंग सर यस सर तो अपने को उन गैसेस को क्या करना पड़ता है पहले कूल cool करना पड़ता है बिलो देयर इनवर्जन टेंपरेचर बिकॉज़ उनका इनवर्जन टेंपरेचर इज वेरी लो हीटर हीट में लास्ट में आप थोड़ा सा अवॉइड कर रहे थे ज्यादा डिटेल में बताना आई डोंट नो लाइक शायद ऐसा हो सकता है आप थक गए थे या आप उतना एक्सप्लेन नहीं करना चाह रहे थे बिकॉज आई आज यू हीटर क्या हीटर इज अ डिवाइस विच इज डायरेक्टली विच इज कन्वर्टिंग वर्क इन टू हीट हीट पंप इज अ डिवाइस विच इज एक्सट्रेक्टिंग हीट फ्रॉम ए लो टेम्परेचर बॉडी रिजेक्टिंग टू द हाई टेम्परेचर बॉडी एंड सर वट एवर वी आर रिजेक्टिंग दैट विल बी मच हाइयर एज कम्पेयर टू द वट एवर वर्क वी आर सप्लाइड सो रिजेक्शन इक्वल टू वर्क सप्लाइड प्लस हीट इट इज एक्सट्रेक्टिंग बट हीटर के लिए क्या होगा मैक्स टू मैक्स वट यू कैन हैव लाइक वट एवर वर्क यू आर सप्लाइंग दैट इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इन टू हीट वट इज द मैक्सिम एफिशियंसी परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ हीटर मैक्सिमम हंड्रेड परसेंट बट वट इज वट इज मिनिमम वट इज मिनिमम सीओपी ऑफ हीट पंप वन मिनिमम इज वन बट वट इज मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम इट मी टू थ्री फोर इवन टेन ऑल्सो इनफाइनेट ऑल्सो आर गेटिंग सो हीट पंप आर मच मोर इफेक्टिव देन हीटर्स हीटर में मैक्सिमम आप क्या कर सकते हो वट एवर वर्क यू आर सप्लाइंग that only you will be able to convert into heat but heat pump mein whatever work you are supplying plus whatever you are extracting that is equal to heat rejection theek hai to the right. initial running cost running cost will be much lower for the heat pump agar aap 1 kilowatt ka heater le le 1 kilowatt ka heat pump le le to running cost will be much lower for the heat pump but their initial cost are higher that's why in most of the india part most of the, most of the reasons we use heat, heat heater not heat pump theek hai Because initial cost is very less for a heater. ठीक है अभी श्रेष मेहनत करो थोड़ा सा और थोड़ा नर्वस नहीं होना है कूल कंफर्ट होके आंसर करना है आई थिंक देन इट विल बी मच मोर बेटर ठीक है श्रेष गुड लक की प्रिपेयरिंग थैंक यू सर